Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is Meryl Cloud. Today we are playing Doom 3. Why are we playing Doom 3? Because Doom 4 is coming out, and we thought we'd pay a little homage before we played that. Yep, damn straight. And I am the Pimp of Hyrule. Yeah. Nice to talk to you again. How you doing? Doing good. Are you touching yourself yet? If oh, not, yeah, you're excited. going to, because this guy's voice is real sexy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, Duff no. Man! <laughs> Alright, All right. let's get started here guys. So we're gonna go right in the campaign, I'm gonna do a new game for you guys. I'm just gonna start on normal difficulty. Uh, you're welcome to play harder once. Uh, there's, for the BFG edition, there's actually three different campaigns you can play. This Ooh. one is really short, as it's one mission, but it's kinda fun. This one is a full campaign, it's an expansion pack, it has a follow-up of Doom 3, it's basically a separate game if you ask me. Maybe we can play that if you guys want to, yes. if, if there's enough time before Doom 4. Yep, exactly, we get through as much as possible, but we'll definitely make it through Doom 3, I'm pretty positive about that. So let's just jump right into this, Doom 3, you've got your recruit, don't shoot yourself in the foot. I would recommend this if you have never played a Doom game before, especially Doom 3. Doom 3 is a very difficult game. It's very different gameplay. Uh, ammo is very scarce. Uh, there's a lot of pain and suffering and a lot of torment. It's yeah. just Doom. Makes you cry. It's called mm. Doom for a reason. You just die. Because you're Doom. Uh, Marine, this is pretty simple. It's your standard. You got the it's your medium. Nice, your average, normal. Yeah. Nice amount of enemies. There's still some ammo that you can find in most places. You're not going to be without ammo. You're going to have ammo for at least one gun. And it's fairly easy to kill most enemies with any weapon. Uh, if you go up to veteran, you're probably going to need heavy weapons to kill the heavier enemies. And after a certain point, your pistol's going to be shit. Not going to work on anything. If you unlock Nightmare, I have not finished the BFG edition yet. But I'm going to for you guys. Uh, you'll unlock Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare is, is almost no ammo drop, and the enemies are pretty much impossible to kill. You have to use strategy to kill them. You, you can't just full out go into a firefight. The gameplay on this game, which is why I like it, is very fast. So let's get started, and I'll show you just what I'm talking about. Is this automatically set up for uh, subtitles? Yes. Uh, so we'll go into that. If the subtitles aren't on, I'll turn it on for you guys. Uh, I think they're automatically on, though. Outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. So this is basically space travel for the human race. We've just reached Mars. Speaking of Doom, how many of you guys have seen the Doom movie? I with have. With Dwayne the fucking Rock Johnson. And he gets a shit wrecked. And the guy who plays um, Bones in the new Star Trek. Whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, I've seen the movie. Well, it's, it's a pretty bad movie, awesome. but it was a good movie at the same time. I remember watching it for the first time, and my m mind was fucking blown when they did the, like, it was a video game towards the end of the movie before he fights Dwayne. Yeah, that's how Doom 3 looks, by the way. Yeah. It, the I, first, yeah, that's I how, was assuming. Yeah, that's but. how Doom 3 looks. Oh, and this is another game I gave a shout-out to Jack 2. Uh, this has working mirrors. The mirrors actually have mirror <coughs> qualities, and you can see a reflection. A lot of games have trouble with that. <laughs> a lot of games do. Another game, like we've Mark, said in Jack 2, is uh, Duke Nukem. Forever? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is you. You're coming in a uh, troop transport. You're coming just supposed hot. to be a standard bodyguard and uh, security guard. This goes horribly wrong. Spoilers. Excellent. <laughs> See the counselor Swan is sent directly. Ooh. Now, for the time period, these graphics are pretty good. The only thing that really has an issue is the hands, the facial expression, and the facial motion is actually pretty good. And the lighting in this game is spectacular. Noise quality is terrific as well. They make great use of footsteps and uh, noises like that. I gotta say, they're doing they do an okay job with the uh, the voice acting so far, like with over the radio and how that sounds. They also they also did a fantastic job of customizing each NPC. I can't uh, believe it's come to this. There's a few people that look here. same or similar, but most people have their own unique identity. You guys did not hear that truck. Alright. Right. Did not control. hear it. <laughs> Wipe it from your memory. Hey look, Dr. Phil! Not him. Him. <laughs> nope, fuck. That's us. That's us? Yeah. We're a little evil looking ourselves, to be honest. And I guess you have to be kind of twisted to survive this shit we're about to experience. 
You're a mute, so we've got our uh, stereotypical Welcome mute hero that doesn't talk. All new arrivals Who's always a badass, I don't know why. Yeah, you're the biggest badass ever. If Welcome the character's a mute, you're gonna win. Union it just happens. Alright, that's our first hint that shit's gonna go bad. That guy's gotta get out of here for some reason. Something creepy's going on, right? Oh, who's this guy? We're gonna be scanned. Oh, he's safe. You're gonna step on these. Doesn't matter which way you face. And actually, you can sprint around and piss him off, and it won't really matter. <laughs> so, I've never played a Doom game before, guys. They did a very good job transferring this from PC as well, just so you're aware. Uh, if you've never played a Doom game, this is a great price to start. It's pretty much the same experience as PC, except you don't have hotkeys. Great price. You're really good at same price, instead of place. It's the second time I've caught you. Saying what? Price, instead of place. Attention. Director Banks. Anyway! I'm, I'm secretly a Chinese spy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, what was that movie? It was, um... Shit, I wanna say it was 16 Candles? Maybe? Where, um... Okay. People are having dinner at Christmas. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna turn on. Sorry about that, guys. I don't think subtitles are on. Not a controller. Don't know why you turned that. Motions. I usually have those turned on. Maybe there's no subtitles. That would be upsetting. Do we actually have to shut up? Yeah, I think we're gonna actually have to shut up here. Sorry about the guys. All right, guys, we'll shut up. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones. It'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. If you pull up your PDA, it's not I pausing the game either. Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. <laughs> All right, so that's us. Your, uh, your, uh, your name is your your gamer tag or whatever you're using. I was about to say, I didn't know Master Chief was in Doom. Yeah, right? I'm number 1788. That's me. We're they gave me a number. That's We're all numbers in here. No, 007. It's great. Except I'm 1788. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking world? Holy fuck. You got an evil dude. No. But I've been Voldemort. The board to look at everything. The board authorized you. Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Doctor Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Well, so that Dang. happened. Uh, so, there's the Voldemort. And, and we're spying already. So, let's get going. We're great people, aren't we? Hey, bathrooms. Unisex bathrooms. Hey, what's up, monkey? The true future. It's not, it's, that's not racist. Alright, mirrors. Mirrors! There we are. Sexy. Why are you always ready to fight, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you got sank because there's a... You got your toilets, you know, standard. Alright, hey. so it's good in Doom. Cold. So make a habit of it before we actually get into the combat to uh, look through everywhere. Make sure you find every piece of porn. Yes, exactly. There's Easter eggs everywhere as well. There's funny stuff and shit in this game. You know. You're gonna have to point them out to us. Because some of us don't know where they are. Like me. So, see, stuff like this, you uh, have to... Uh, Get a PDA downloaded to get through stuff like that. So, we go in here first. So, if you just touch a PDA like that, it'll pick it up automatically. 
So there's stuff like this. This is a big part of the game to get Y for us that got your interaction. This is one of those Easter eggs. And hey. if you notice, if you've played any other Dooms, this is from Doom 1 and 2. The fist with the knuckle ring. And then that's you in Doom 1 and 2. And you just punch a turkey a bunch of times. And it's sick and awesome. And you get a nice message from your commanding officer if you sit here for a crazy long time and get to like 10,000 points. And he docks your vacation, and he's really angry with you. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you'd like to experience angry commanding officers, go ahead, punch turkeys for a long time. Um, we dare you. Also, you. Yeah, you also get an achievement in, in the BFG edition, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Look that up if you're achievement hunting. Um, so let's see here. We're going to go through... But who's like me? Who here likes Sony? Oh, I got turned around. So Who here loves getting uh, trophies? Yeah. Trophies, achievements, they're all the same. So yeah, but I got turned around and I apologize. Better. So let's go through here instead. We're in the uh, Marine Command. We're going to head to our commanding Attention. officer now after Dr. slacking Dr. off for a really Please long time. To oh, wait, you mean this way? <laughs> Alright, we're going to check out this area really fast. And then you got your infirmary. Uh oh, something's going on there. That guy does not look healthy. No, he doesn't. He he looks so, like he's this from the must be one of the posse. accidents that's been going on. He looks like he's carved his face off. Ooh, and that's we're sexy. Gonna, that's a actual foreshadowing of what's going to go on here. You get some PDAs that'll give you some backstory later. You can talk to people; they really won't tell you anything interesting at this point. No, oh, not really. They'll tell you they're busy and the fuck off. So, you can talk to him if you want. So, I'm trying to reconfigure this little See? Guy. I can't talk now. See? That's nah, yeah. just like that. Thank you. You've got these people talking to uh, command. Hey, Gallon Gun. Yep. So, Took your sweet time, Marine? Uh, yeah, we did. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check the out ranking the ranking fucking new guy. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security check. Oh, the snap. The elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Do not hurt him. More Do foreshadowing. Not There's hurt something me. going on that re might require you to use violence, and he warns you against it. He needs to back here. Hmm. Somebody has run away in the base on Mars. That that is mildly disturbing. I'd say what are they? Him. What are they running from? We shall. All right. So you get a quick look at most of the items in this game, and a quick informational video that you can watch. Got your uh, body armor, grenades, shotguns, health packs, Anything and the else. plasma rifle, a mm -hmm. prototype weapon that we will be getting later in the game. It's tons of fun. All right, let's move on. I hear this tutorial level is actually pretty long. It's not not really if you know where to go. I'm going to show you where to go. That's nice. If you stop and read everything, it can take a while. But, you know, if you're new to the game, feel free to explore, get used to the controls, because the combat is very quick-paced, and if you're trying to figure out what your jump button is, you're going to be in trouble. Alright. <sighs> yeah, just so you guys know, we're doing what we usually do, and we are going to switch off every episode to keep things fresh. Make you guys laugh at my failures, because that's what I am. And proud of it! You can download all this stuff, and you get some... PDA stuff that really doesn't help you, but might provide some backstory that you might like. I don't know. You guys should never pirate information. So, there's that guy. He powers down. Those little fellas will help you out too if you get into a firefight. They're uh, got machine guns equipped. There's well, a lot of transferring between areas in this game. So, how's the load time though? The load time isn't too terrible because you're not loading very often. It almost okay. never gives you a loading screen. That's good. Way better than uh, Shadows of Portor. <laughs> It loads the whole map for you when you go to a new area, so that's why it takes a few few seconds, but it's not too terrible. On computer, it's a little bit faster as well, so 
if that depending makes on your processor and all for. that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then on the saves. Xbox, it gives you an automatic save. You can turn it off. It's not I'm pretty too bad. sure in the options as well, auto save. But for some of us who are too stupid to remember to save or too lazy, it's always a good thing to have auto save. It's good to Dungeon save Marine. in this game as Most much place as possible. Mars. Every checkpoint. I'm gonna need you to yeah. grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. So our first weapon. <laughs> we got a weapon. Yeah. There's no aiming in this game. It's all hip fire. Now you can zoom. Combat. Uh, your left trigger is your flashlight. Test. He's gonna give you a radio test really fast here. You don't get a machine gun though because they hate radio you. Check. And they want you to die. Excellent. Good signal. Ooh, looks, looks like something to crawl out of there. <laughs> Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and straight I'm always afraid of uh, Fred. I'm always afraid, guys. I'm always afraid of, uh... Okay, always talking, sorry. Set. So, oh, yeah. you've got Keep Y to interact, A to jump, Don't get excited and shoot any. L for flashlight, trigger for shoot, and the right and left bumpers to cycle through your weapons. Um... But yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm, I'm always afraid of uh, places with red lights that flash, like red light districts. Always afraid of that. Always be afraid of that. Because you never know what, what they might be like carrying. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Crabs. Anyways, you can shoot people without any penalties as well, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a nice guy. Anyways, oh, they're going to die anyway. I would so, so fucking murder their ass. Yeah, you can go through and murder everybody you want. It's actually kind of funny. And nobody does shit. Like, oh, you. Oh, this guy, he tries to scare you. I usually just forget he's there. I'm not sure you want to find him. Uh oh. Rut row, spaghetti rose. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Someone's gonna die. Alright, we're actually about to the start of the combat, so if you're wanting to explore, I would go back the other way for now. Are you guys getting wet yet? I am. Here we go. Let the fun begin. Lights off. Yeah, you just hit the left trigger. This is actually an improvement from the computer where you had to actually get a mod because the flashlight was a separate weapon, so every time you wanted to pull out the flashlight, you had to pull it out, and there was a mod to get the, uh, it was called the duct tape mod or something like that. Because, you know, you duct tape your flashlight to your gun or whatever, but it was so you could use your flashlight in your gun, which they just included in the Xbox version of the game, which I like. Yeah, it's a nice feature, being able to use your flashlight whenever the fuck you feel like it. Alright, so you're going to have a lot of times when you're outside like this, there's going to be air canisters for you but you're going to have to move fast. So combat on the outside is pretty difficult and pretty uh, mm. tense because you only have 100 oxygen. Is that 100 oxygen each time you go out? Correct. And uh, every time you refresh an airlock, you have 100 oxygen. And you can pick up oxygen tanks outside. But it still goes away very quickly. Nice. All right, we're going to go to communications. communications. Something's going on. Sergeant Kelly's freaking out. I'm freaking out, man! Something's going on. Like Zoe Scoop? Something's going very wrong. You ever play wrong. one of those Scooby Doo games? I have, actually. For the I PlayStation really 2? Yeah. No, yeah. No. I love hey, those games. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I you must let me get my Kung Pao chicken finished in the I've microwave seen. first. Ooh, what's that? Is that, that a teleporter? Like... A Hellgate. It's real. The devil is real. I know. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Now, at this point, I'd shoot him because yeah. I'm a uh, dick. Actually, you should shoot him because he's going to turn into a zombie. So, we're just going to All right. Him. Just headshot him. <clears throat> that, those skull things are fucking annoying. They block your vision. There's gonna be a guy coming through this door, so you're gonna want to take cover or something. He's gonna have like a shotgun or a pistol or something. So, so just I'm assuming it's a demon possessing a guy. 
They're practically zombies, but they're supposed to be demons more in this game. Because, uh, it was aliens in 1 and 2, but they're turned into... I'm doing a terrible job here, guys, Good but job, took dude. a few hits, but... Saving! Auto safe. That was, that was something that, uh... That was rough. Oh, shit. Combat Dark takes a little bit too. to get used to. You've got a few more zombies out here, but it's not too bad. Headshots, of course. Classic kill. Yep. I guess you gotta keep screaming. Oh. Creepy shit. All right, we're gonna go to one. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ. Also, well, this game isn't too bad on the horror front, but if you're a easy jumper, this game can give you quite a few scares. I was, I was gonna say like that. So, um. but there's armor shards up here. This gives you part of armor. There's no enemies in this area, so um, just go ahead and pick up everything. Don't worry about watching your back. I'll try not to worry. Uh, I'll try not to ruin the jump scares for you too much, but. Don't worry, I'll scream like a oh, bitch. Shit. I got this. I'm pretty good All at right, getting we're go scared. Cross here again. There's gonna be some enemies in here, so. Are you excited as I am, guys? I know. Hi. The door's gonna glitch uh, and kind of open halfway. You can actually shoot people when this goes through. I missed, but you can actually kill them before they get across. Alright, the door's gonna open. There's gonna be a few people in here, so turn to your right really fast and shoot them immediately. Turn left, clear the area, look around really fast, see if you can pick up anything. Enemies don't continually spawn in this game, there's a set number of enemies that spawn during uh, different action sequences. Like, you open a door, it'll spawn some enemies. So, after you clear them out, it should be clear. You just back up really fast, that's another jump scare, so yeah, I don't want to ruin things too much. Uh, most doors, you should probably open and then quickly back up or turn around because this game likes to give you some jump scares and stuff like that, so clear the, every door like that, be very cautious. A lot of doors are trapped as well, there's explosions and crap that can happen, so... Uh, okay, so this area's clear, you're gonna go through here, clear the door. There's gonna be a zombie climbing up there, just kill it. There's a few zombies down below, I just ignore them and move on. This no, door's gonna open. No and, need to waste oh, ammo, right? There's a hand coming out of there, that's no cool. You see, a, you see a guy run across there if you watch, but I'm just going to open the bridge for now. Well, that guy. Bye! You can save that guy, but it really won't make a difference. He's going to die anyways. But uh, I don't think there's an achievement for it either, but there could be. You know, they like to make achievements for everything, so. Whee! I'm going to run across here. Look a little alcove. You got a guy with a gun. I'm failing miserably again. They have body armor, so headshots are preferable. Nice. Okay. You got the guy with the pistol. There's no aiming, so you just keep that cursor lined up on their head, you'll get the shot. On Nightmare, even the first sequence is very difficult, I'll tell you that. You got this guy that comes out. Man, There's so... no melee either, unless you have your fists out, so be careful of getting into close combat. I'm gonna be fucking petrified when I play. I'm gonna be a flinchy motherfucker. Get that. I've already played through, so I have that advantage. Uh, watch your flashlight battery as well, that runs out pretty quickly. Help, someone, Help. Don't want that to happen. So you can save him like that. But, like I said, he just runs away and probably dies elsewhere, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can go spawn some enemies back there. If you go around corners and then retreat, you can usually make the enemies reveal their position. There's going to be some heavy-duty combat troopers up here, so be careful. You're going to get the shotgun soon as well, so... I right hope here. so. Shotguns are awesome. You hear that growling? in the background. Yeah. That doesn't convince you. Okay, these are one of the traps I was talking about. Oh, look! Conveniently placed armor and shotgun. I wonder what... Oh, is this a lift? Obviously, Nailed shotgun, the closer you are, more damage. This is one of our first guns we're gonna get. I'm not gonna tell you next time, but just make sure you watch your surroundings. You can watch my gameplay though if you're really that much of a pansy ass. 
Which you might be. That's Blow okay. Up the barrels. It's good to kill any bodies you see if you get the chance, because that just stops them from getting up and fucking you while you're doing something else. Mmm, fucking me. Not everybody will revive, but it's generally a good practice just to kill everything you see. There's gonna. Here's the heavy combat troopers I was talking about. Watch the shotguns. They do a lot of damage to you if you get too close to them. Some shotgun shells here. Shotgun is your best friend through most of this game, so. And a lot of doors will open, like secret compartments with zombies in it, so always check behind you. Listen to your sounds. Like I said, they have excellent audio cues in this game. So if you're very perceptive, you usually won't get snuck up on. So I'm fucked. I'll help you a little bit, buddy. Thanks, uh -oh. buddy. Spaghetti us. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? We're gonna introduce to a new enemy here, so be prepared. Uh, you wanna just run at him and shotgun him really fast. They're gonna try to lunge at you. So, I'm gonna go through this door. There's gonna be a lot of these. These are the go-to standard enemies in this game. So, get ready to face a shit ton of these guys. And there's gonna be more and more from this point forward. You're just gonna wanna kill these as fast as possible. They throw, uh, energy balls at you and shit, so... Oh, Don't imps. keep it at a range. Yes, they are imps. They are the go-to Doom uh, standard enemy here. Yes, they are. Uh, this is where you just save that guy, but there's another one of these guys around the corner. So he probably died. Oh, shit. Yeah, he probably died. You can't see. Turn your flashlight on. There's a lot of dark areas in this game. Don't be afraid to use your flashlight. I don't want to help that guy. Yeah, and you really won't. Eventually, the scared radio communications will go away because everybody will be dead. He came from behind there, didn't he? Always look behind you, as I was saying. And they throw those balls at you, which do a l fair amount of damage. I'm running out of shotgun ammo, so I'm actually going to switch back to my pistol. You don't want to save shotguns for uh, very nasty situations. Otherwise, just use the weapons that you have the most ammo for. Can try to conserve ammo as much as possible. You're going to have a few more imps come out here. Oh, these guys are annoying, huh? Yeah, just dodge them. If you get too close and you're still within their distance, they will lunge at you, so be very careful. And then if they lunge at you, they're going to get a few hits in, and they get nasty really fast. Get some shots off on that guy. You've got plenty of pistol ammo at this point, so just try to rely on your pistol. Don't use too much of your power weapons. We're going to give this a quick save here. Hard part coming up. No, just good to save. I'm gonna get you in the habit of saving. So now that you got through your first round of combat, there's a relatively safe area before anything else spawns. Cool, cool. Get your computer over here. There's a door that's broken, so you're gonna have to go this way. Hip, hip. Hey. There's a lot of jump scares like this coming up as well. Oh fuck. So. Yeah, that was, that was the lunge I was talking about. You're gonna want to move, sidestep them. If you didn't, if you didn't warn me, I would have fucking pissed myself right there. Just those take a, quite a few pistol rounds to take down, so that's why the shotgun is helpful to hold the ammo on to, just in case you get really fucked up. This area is quite full of enemies. Uh, this is a system that they use throughout the game. Make sure you're clear before you do this. Uh, you got enemies coming out. That's what I thought. I just, he didn't spawn. You just go to the side, then he spawns. Ow, oh, this guy's an aimbotter. Finally got him, Jesus Christ. Alright, so just get some shotgun ammo off that guy. Uh, nothing will really spawn as long as you stay in this area. You just picked up that PDA, so hit select. You're gonna pull up your PDA, and you're gonna go to that first one you just got. This is Grant Baston. Alright, so basically there's going to be a bunch of cabinets like this. If you have the right clothes, you'll be able to open them. We don't have the code for that apparently, so we're just going to move on. I literally thought that big boiler thing was a dude. I would have shot it. Alright, so what's going to be behind this door, we're going to have to find out next time because we're running out of time here. Damn it. Oh, you fucking next cock time. Tease. Yeah, next time, guys. Thanks for joining us. Guess he's gonna have the control next time. It's gonna be fun, guys. It's We're gonna, gonna be... see if he can't peek the mic every two 
flipping seconds. Every two fucking seconds. All, All right. right. So we're going to go here, but thanks for joining us. Like I said, please tune in for our next episode for Doom 3 playthrough. This has been the Pimp of Hyrule. See you next time, guys. My name is Meow Clown.